Hello there, welcome back to my channel. Today is the third installment of my anniversary series where I look back one year and I see what kind of eyeshadow looks I was doing then and I pick my favorite one from that month and then I recreate it. So this is my April look. I will put up a picture of the inspiration photo from April of 2021. And let me tell you what palettes I used to create this look and then we'll get right into the look. I used the Sprinkle A Little Magic palette from ColourPop. I used the Flare palette from Ace Pute, and then I used the um, Hella palette from Udenzai, which is their current collab with Aniela Kinifist. And so this is the look I came up with. I really enjoy this series because it's so much fun to see where I was and then compare it to where I am now. If you're interested in seeing that, then don't go anywhere. And there are a couple other videos in a playlist for this series on my channel if you're interested. If you have never been here before, hello and welcome. My name is Rachel. I'm a homeschooling stay-at-home mom, and I love to play with colorful eyeshadow. I've been uploading about every other day for a while now. Sometimes I skip a weekend, but it is at least three videos a week. So if you're interested in seeing lots more colorful content, you might want to consider liking and subscribing. So looking at my inspiration picture from last April, I see green in the inner corner and then an orangey transition in the crease area and then um, a light pink into a dark pink on the lid in my standard style. That picture was actually taken right before a maternity photo shoot, which happened about a week before my baby was born. And I was wearing a dress and I was trying to match the flowers on the dress and, you know, I thought it was very clever at the time. Now I think I'm gonna do a much better job, but at the time it was good for me. So I have chosen three different palettes to recreate this look. I've got Sprinkle A Little Magic from ColourPop and I'm gonna hold this one carefully because the Super Shock is breaking. Uh, but there's a green in here, a matte green that I'll be using called um, Sleep. And then I'm gonna use the Hello palette from Uden's Eye and Angelic and Fist. And for in this palette, I want to grab definitely these pinks. This is probably the shimmer of the day. And then I may grab this yellow to blend out the orange, possibly. And then the orange that I'm going to get is from the Flare palette. There's a, there's a matte orange right here. So that's my plan. And we'll see how it goes. I've already primed my eyes using the Glamoulin Icing Primer in the shade White Frosty. And I'm just going to get started because my baby hasn't woken up yet, so... I'm going to start by putting the light green in the inner crease. I will take a small blending brush to do this and in the Sprinkle A Little Magic from palette from ColourPop, dip into the shade Sleep. And this, I'm later going to use it as also an inner corner highlight, but right now I'm just putting it in the crease at the inner corner. This is one of the few eyeshadow looks that I did twice and now I guess three times because um, it was kind of when I was first getting into eyeshadow. I was only a few months in. And it was the most creative that I had been as far as trying to recreate something. I did it and I liked it and so I decided to do it again for that maternity photo shoot. And that was the picture that you saw where I did it again. And the second time I did it, I, um, if I'm remembering correctly, I tried to be a little bit more pronounced in each element, like make a little bit more of the brighter green and a little bit more of the orange transition. And the, the palette that I used was the James Charles um, Morphe palette. The, the mini one is what I had. I, I really didn't like that palette. Like, I thought the color selection was nice and I bought it because I was just getting into colors and I wanted to try like a rainbow palette basically to have everything I needed in one-stop shopping. But it really wasn't very good quality for me. I think I'll just work on one eye quickly because I don't want to take too long with this video. And now I'm going to grab the orange shade from the Flare palette. The shadow is called Pumpkin. I'm going to take Pumpkin on a denser and larger blending brush and put this in the rest of my crease, meeting that green. I don't want to overlap them too much because then I'll get brown and I don't really want brown. And you can see that this is a much darker shade of orange than what I used in my inspiration photo, so I'm just carefully laying that color down and I'll bring it to the outer corner and the pink will overlap in the outer corner but I'm, tr I'm making sure not to spread it out too far, like up to the brow bone. I'm just keeping it in my crease because I'll blend it out from here. In order to blend it out, I've got a fluffier blending brush. It's about the same size, but it's a lot more fluffy and loose. And I'm going into the Hella palette into the shade Rebirth, which is a light yellow matte, kind of buttery yellow. I'm gonna place Rebirth on the edge of the orange and this one I don't mind if it transfers over onto the green as well because yellow will blend out green very nicely. I'm really just working the edge of the orange 
soften it a bit. Now I'm combining three different brands and three different formulas, so it might take a little bit of extra work. Like Uden's Eye blends out beautifully with other Uden's Eye shadows, but I'm not blending Uden's Eye here. I'm blending um, Ace Beauté and ColourPop with an Uden's Eye shadow, so it just might take some extra work. All right, that did take a decent amount of blending. What I ended up doing was taking the Uden's Eye yellow and placing it on top of the entire area where I laid down the orange and just working and blending it out because the formulas aren't really loving blending with each other. So I kind of overlaid the orange with the yellow and worked from there. Now I'm gonna take a smaller, um, just, just as loose, but it's smaller and it's also pinched and it's a blending brush. I will dip into the shade Hella from the Hella palette. This is the first time I've used this particular shade got some kick up so I'm just making sure I tap off my brush this is how I tap off my brush I whack it with my fingernail see that some people tap against the palette itself or you know whatever lots of people tap in different ways but that's how I do it <laughs> so I'm gonna place Hella on the outer I don't know the outer half area of the lid I'm not too concerned with covering this very inner portion underneath of the green because I'm gonna put shimmer there but I'm gonna use Hella on the whole lid space in this outer area and meet up with the orange it's a really nice pink. And now I'm going to use the same brush and bring Hella down under the eye as well. With a blending eye brush from e.l.f., now I'm going to mix the shades in the Hella palette. I'm going to take the shade Goddess, which I also haven't used yet, and the shade Such, which I've used once. And I'm just going to use them to deepen out the outer corner a bit. So what I'm going to do is dip into Goddess primarily, and then I'll like, I've got Goddess on my brush, and then I'll just tap once into Such. And I'll lay this on the outer corner to add a bit more pink and deepen it up a little bit. And then when that's an appropriate amount of depth that I want, or at least for now, I'm going to dip only into the goddess shade and lay that down in the same area, more on top of what I just put down because I want to bring in more pink. We are making headway and the baby's still sleeping, although only one of my eyes done. <laughs> I'm going to take a flat C or shader brush, and now I'm going to take the shade Hellfire, still within the Hella palette. Um, again, my first time using this shade as well. It's my first time using all the pinks in this palette. I was looking at this look thinking, hmm, what palette should I use? Oh, Hella. <laughs> Duh. Brand new, exciting, pretty. So I'm dipping into the Hellfire shade, and then I will spray my brush. And now I'm going to lay this on the rest of the lid space from the inner corner out over onto the pinks. With the brush that I use for the pink mattes, I'm just going to tap where the matte and the shimmer meet and go back and forth to help them blend together better. And then with quite a small blending or pencil brush, I'm going back into the Sprinkle A Little Magic palette into the shade Sleep. And this is my inner corner highlight, just a matte inner corner highlight. So I'm placing it at the inner corner and I'm also dragging it down to meet the pinks or the pink mat that I laid down here before. One thing of note is that when I first started doing eyeshadow at this point a year ago, I wasn't doing anything on the lower lash line. And so my looks were not nearly as impactful simply for that reason, because I didn't carry any color onto the lower area. So this look by virtue of having something on the lower lash line, even if everything else were the same, it would still be brighter and more colorful. Okay, that's about it for the eye look. I'm going to take this uh, light pink eyeliner from ColourPop. This is the shade Fluffy, I think. And I'm just going to go off camera, put this on my waterline, do the other eye, finish everything up, and then I will be back to show you the end result. All right, there you go. That's the end result. On my lips, I put a little bit of butter gloss from NYX in the shade Peaches and Cream. And uh, I did a winged eyeliner, which is still a work in progress, and some mascara, and, and you know, that's about it. Anyway, so here's the finished look. I really enjoy this anniversary series. It's so much fun to look back at what I was doing and try to recreate it with my, with my newer um, or developed skills. Sometimes I even remember what I was thinking, like this one, for example, I specifically remember trying to mimic the flowers on my dress. And so I remember thinking, well, you know, you would start off with the, the stem and leaves, and so that's the green, and then we move into like, 
you know how how flowers will often have a gradient of color so it's that sort of idea and so i remember what i was thinking and what my motivation was and inspiration for the look itself which is now the inspiration look for today so this is so much fun i appreciate you hanging out with me i hope you enjoyed the look in the video remember to like and subscribe if you want to and until i see you again i hope you have a great day bye I, it was so much fun to do it was so much fun to look back it was so much fun to grab and i remember what i was thinking and what i was you know what my vote i remember what and so i remember what i was thinking and what my vote